Hi everyone, this is Prashad, your English Fluency Guide. Welcome to my channel, Prashad Portnuru. In this video, I'm going to teach one word substitutes. First word, fatalist. The meaning of the word fatalist is a person who believes in fate. If you believe in fate, you are called fatalist. And example, I'm not a fatalist, I'm a realist. Means I don't believe in destiny. I believe in hard work. If you work, definitely we will get it. If you want to achieve something, you need to work for that. Okay, some people, uh, they believe in fate. It's our fate. If it is destined to be happened, it will happen. They think like that, but that is a wrong notion. You need to believe in your hard work. If you work for it, definitely you will get it one day or other. Okay. Next one is omnipresent. The meaning of this word is one who is present everywhere. Omnipresent. One who is present everywhere. For example, God. God is present everywhere. Omnipresent broadband access is almost here. Omnipresent broadband access is almost here. Centenarian. Next word is centenarian. A person who is above 100 years. Centenarian. A person who is above 100 years is called centenarian. My, grandpa, my grandfather is centenarian. My grandfather is a centenarian, means above 100 years. Just example. Theist, one who believes in God is called theist. One who believes in God is called theist. And the antonym word for this word is atheist. Just to add prefix here, it will become an antonym. Theist, opposite word, atheist. Theist means the person who believes in God. If you believe in God, you are called theist. Okay. If you don't believe in God, you are called atheist. Example, I am a theist. That means I believe in God. Centenarian. Example, Japan has more than 4,000 centenarians. Japan has more than 4,000 centenarians. Next one word substitute, spend thrift. One who spends too much money. If you spend too much money recklessly, you are called spend thrift. Okay. Spend thrift means one who spends too much money. My father tells me I'm too much of a spend thrift. Example, my father tells me I'm too much of a spend thrift. Next word is biography. A life history written by somebody else. A life history written by somebody else is called biography. Life history written by yourself. Your life history written by yourself. That is autobiography. Okay. You can see the difference between biography and autobiography. Biography means your history written by somebody else. Autobiography means your history written by yourself. Example, let's see the example. He wrote a biography of Winston Churchill. He wrote a biography of Winston Churchill. Let's see next one. Misogynist. Misogynist means one who hates women. One who hates women is called misogynist. Example. The movie is a moral tale about a misogynist who dies and is reborn as a beautiful woman. Once again, the movie is a moral tale about a misogynist who dies and is reborn as a beautiful woman. Next word, teetotaler, teetotaler, one who abstains from taking alcohol. One who doesn't take alcohol is called teetotaler. 
Example, I'm a teetotaler. My brother is a teetotaler. My friend is a teetotaler. Many examples you can give. Here, one example is there. Let me read this example. My dad was a teetotaler who didn't permit alcohol in the home, not even for cooking. My dad was a teetotaler who didn't permit alcohol in the home, not even for cooking. Thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to this channel for amazing updates which will help you to become an amazing English speaker who can speak English confidently and fluently with anyone in this world because you are a global citizen where you just don't confine yourself just to your city. Thank you, your fan Prashadu Putnuru. Please share it with your friends. Okay, make, uh, make sure you subscribe my channel and uh, like the video and share it with your friends. Okay, uh, you want to become fluent in English. For that, you need to spend time. You need to dedicate your time. <clears throat> you need to watch English content. Okay, and you need to write. For example, you can write a comment about this video. Okay, in one sentence you can write so that you can improve your writing skills. And you have to begin thinking in English. From the day one, you can speak English. You can say, I don't understand. You can say, yes, I understand everything. Yes, I, I, I am the subscriber. I am your new subscriber. Like that, from the day one, you can speak. You can start speaking. You'll become fluent in English. It's not difficult at all. If you are interested, if you spend your valuable time, if you dedicate your time, definitely you will become fluent English speak. And here, every day, every single day, update one video, which helps you to enhance your English skills. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Until then, bye.